very much for inviting me to speak to you this evening. Firstly, I'll acknowledge that this vast and beautiful land was never ceded to us and that we owe its first owners our respect. In the last two years, we've understood more than ever before the importance of a community. Today, we stand together as a community united by our concern about the most immediate and significant threat to our economic and our environmental security, human-induced climate change. Weather converted. I don't need to preach to you about the stuff that you already know. We know all that stuff already. What I need to do is to convince you that in voting for me, you will have an extraordinary opportunity to change the course of Australian climate history and that this singular opportunity cannot and must not be wasted. The evidence is clear. Climate change caused by burning fossil fuels is a threat to all of us and to all of the species on this wonderful planet. Further delays in global climate action will result in us missing the opportunity to slow and then reverse its effects. We'll also miss the economic opportunities that this new vision offers, one based on a clean energy future, which is ex accelerating in other, other countries around the world. We know that Australia has enormous potential to move from what are becoming stranded fossil fuel assets to becoming an economic superpower by making renewable energy a priority for this country. Respected business analysts like Accenture have estimated that we could have 395,000 jobs and $89 billion in revenue by 2040 through renewable energy export opportunities, hydrogen, ammonia, steel, minerals critical for the production of zero emissions energy and transport technologies, production and export of batteries manufactured in Australia. This afternoon, I was really pleased to be able to announce a policy on electric vehicles in which I've committed to legislate on vehicle emission standards, provide a $5,000 rebate for electric vehicles, and support manager of electric vehicle batteries in Australia. Many of the jobs created thus will be in regional communities, which are currently exposed by the transition away from fossil fuels. Our government has failed to demonstrate the vision that we need for effective action on climate change. We deserve better and we can have better. With an independent on the crossbench, you will have a local member with life experience and pragmatism who will listen to you and who will act on your concerns. A local member absolutely committed to action on climate change for the next generation and the generation after that. This time, you need to vote on climate change and integrity on the issues that matter the most to us. If you do that, Kuyong will rise to an independent. You deserve better. You should have better, and you will have better. Authorised by Lighter Footprints Incorporated, Q Victoria.